just got back from fuse fab with my friend kyle you actually wound up modifying the center section as well as the whole rear section we added about seven inches to the back side here right now it's kind of that way all i have to do is pull it back and it's got room to move so i spent the better half of the morning with him checking out his new shop and everything i really like how this turned out and i'll probably push the uh the tail in a little bit maybe like two inches or so it's got room for movement so that's all just little adjusting and things there, but it's way off the ground now. So we don't run into issues with that anymore. So that's super nice. Uh, I also got one of my packages in the mail. So I want to show you guys that. I was getting tired of the front end looking stupid. So we picked up an AVO grill. I'm excited to open this thing up and see how it looks because this is one of the only grills that they make that actually fits up supposedly to the USDM legacy. Most of the other ones you'll find are going to be for the Japanese domestic market. So I'm excited to see how this fits. So it comes in a black gel coat. Not sure if I'm gonna paint it yet or not. I guess I'll have to see how it looks on the car. My God, they did a good job of wrapping this. This thing was super cheap. I got it on eBay for like 95 bucks. So, not bad, not bad for what it is. Let's throw this on the car and see how it looks. has this little groove here and I need it to line up with this but it's not so I might have to take the bumper off because that needs to feed right in here so I need to like bend it up as I put it on it I just don't have enough room It, but uh, 10 out of 10 shit fitment for this thing. I cannot get it even. Let me show you what I did. So even with sanding all right here to try and make this as thin as possible, I still cannot get it in this lip. Like it's gotta be really thin and it's not following the same line. This should fit perfect if it would clip in. Because if that is all up, it matches these angles perfectly. It's just the inside of this lip I'm going to have to work with more. So for now, and I'll worry about fixing bottom fitment at a different time. Although this fits like shit, it doesn't fit that bad. Looks better than not having one on it. So I'm not exactly completely upset about my purchase. Just kind of wish that it would clip in like it's supposed to. I've seen a bunch of other people have gotten this one and theirs wasn't all fucked up like this. So maybe it's just a manufacturing error. 
<laughs> After fucking with this thing for probably about an hour, I came up with an idea and it works. So if anyone gets an AVO front grill, this is how I got mine to fit right. I don't have it laid in there quite yet. I also took, see that shit's fucking on there now. There we go. So I also put it for my JDM front, but put the Subaru logo on there. I just think it looks better. I'm probably gonna paint the mesh black and I might paint the black gloss white. Here's what I did. I took, and since there was no way for these side pieces to fit correctly and they weren't spots that had issues with gaps, I just cut them off. And then I cut this to about here. That way that can pull up, have a little bit of flex to it and hold that piece in there. And I know the middle fits fine. So then we weren't fucking with any of this. We have both the mounting locations up here on both sides. Uh, it's a hack job. I, I used a coping saw for this, <laughs> but I just cut down this and then cut a little bit into this so it would spring a little to be able to mount up there. So now, if I take this, have it lined up, push it up, hey, look at that. We got our mounting holes and everything there. It should pull everything up how we want it. So I can take these guys. <laughs> it's, it's the little things that are fun. This grill fits like shit unless you do this little modification that I just did. And let's close you and make sure I don't have a coping saw still in there. So I will be the first person to tell you this car is in no way, shape, or form clean. In fact, that's part of what makes this so fun. So I'm taking a car that looks like utter garbage and trying to make it look better. Final fitment check. Solid. No gap. That is fucking on there. So if anyone wants to buy one of these, you can make it fit. You just have to do the little modification I did. That doesn't look half-assed and stupid. It actually does fit really well. Uh, it's just the side pieces. You can't get those side clips in there. It's like seven o'clock now. I'm still waiting on this blockade head stuff to show up. And I'd like to throw that in in this video too, but we might not see that till tomorrow. Hi Phoenix, are you happy I found out how to make the grill work? Yeah, you are, you little munchkin. <laughs> Sam and I put this tree together that came in that I totally thought was something else. I fucking put the tree together. Hi, baby derps. <laughs> was this was this boring for you? Are you bored? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come look. What's this? He's like, I want the ball. That's all you care about, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> you little jerk. Are you happy now? Ooh, got the angel. It's not a party without an angel involved. Dun, dun, dun. What's up, guys? It's been a couple of days. Uh, I have a surprise for you. After several days of waiting and USPS not delivering my package for about three days, we finally got our blockade head thing. It looks good. Actually, it was not hard to put in at all. So just touching base on this is kind of the end of this video. I did have to do some weird stuff with these little AEM gauges because they're very short. If you've seen, they're the X series, so they have like no lip on them to stay in there. So I did have to kind of use a bit of adhesive to keep them in. Uh, the rubber bands that are supplied did not work and they don't have any other way of staying in that. Aside from that, for the blockade head stuff, I just pressed this in like normal. It fit perfectly and it was not that hard to pull the wires up and get them where I wanted. But I did have clamps on these holding them in until this fully seated. Now they're in there good. So just to end this on a, hey, we've got everything we wanted for the car so far. looks a lot better. 
So I would call that ending things on a win. If you guys like this video, let me know, hit that like button, and I will see you, like always, in the next one. See you later.